Originally known as Pinehurst Plantation, Arnold Palmer's Mid-South Club became part of the Talamore family of clubs in 2004. Since taking the helm, Talamore has added a stunning new clubhouse, exceptional pool and tennis facilities, and the now famed Mid-South Lodges to the 600-acre world-class graded golf course community. Located just minutes from the historic village of Pinehurst, North Carolina, the Mid-South Club is one of the Carolina's most attractive private residential golf communities. 545 acres of longleaf pine forests, lakes, and gently rolling hillsides provide a backdrop for a place of beauty and serenity. This is the Mid-South Club. The opening hole at Mid-South is a strategic par 4, nearly 400 yards from the back tees. Longer hitters can elect to try to carry the bunker on the right-hand side of the fairway. Shorter hitters may need to direct it to the left of that. Powering it over that bunker gives a good angle into the green on the second shot. A large bunker awaits to the left. A sloping green makes this a good test to get golfers started here at Mid-South Club. The par 4 second demands accuracy off the tee. Most players will elect to play to the left side of the fairway to avoid the trouble to the right, though the longer hitters may choose to try to carry that tree on the right-hand side of the fairway. A full wedge shot awaits into the second green, sloping towards the water. Left is safe, but a challenging par 4 early on in the round. The par 3 third, a long iron, is the play, with golfers needing to carry the large traps in front of the green. An undulating green complex makes a par a difficult score on a beautiful par 3 third. The par 5 fourth, Certainly a level of forgiveness off the tee shot, but it is a long, steady climb towards the green. Every bit of a three-shot hole for most golfers. A wide fairway awaits the first shot, but then the climb begins up the hill with ridges guiding you all the way there. And a bunker in front of the green, as well as to the back left, demands perfection for those with fairway metal trying to get there in two. A full wedge shot provides a more inviting approach to the par 5 fourth. Many golfers will elect to go with less than driver here on the par 4 fifth with the threat of water as well as the fairway running down towards the hazard. A difficult second shot awaits danger to the right and a green sloping right into the hazard. A bunker provides protection to the left. The par 3 sixth is a challenging 178 yard par 3. With golfers needing to carry the water hazard with a mid to long iron, many golfers will elect to club up to ensure safe landing. With the slick Bermuda greens that Mid-South has to offer, a lightning quick downhill putt to a front pin placement provides some understandable tension for golfers and a difficult two putt. Another par four of over 400 yards from the back tee. Fairway will slope from left to right as well as a hazard awaiting any golf balls wayward and slicing to the right. A long second shot into a large but undulating green makes this a challenging hole for golfers. One of the most difficult holes on the golf course, the 430 yard par 4 eight. The sharp dog leg may force longer hitters to take less than driver, but then a difficult second shot awaits with a funnel shaped green with bunker protection in front. 
this is a good par for golfers who can achieve it. A long way coming back to the clubhouse here, 542 yard par five. Some of the longer hitters may elect to cut the angle and go over top of the trees. For the rest of us, an open and inviting fairway leads to a second shot with center lined bunkers. More room to the right, as well as a better angle, but a closer shot if choosing to go to the left. A third shot demanding precision and a large green that shares a neck with the 18th awaits the golfers as they finish the front nine. We now make the turn to 10, the 410 yard par four. Fairly open tee shot here as Carolina Pines line both sides of the fairway. On the second shot, be wary of the large trap to the left and in front of the green. A beautiful start to the back nine here at Mid-South. The par 3 11. Danger appears to loom everywhere as you stand at the tee. But good shots are rewarded here as a large green receives golf balls and does provide opportunities to score. The long par 4 12th begins a difficult stretch here at Mid-South Club. 470 yards from the back tees. A demanding tee shot precludes hitters from going long and left as an expansive bunker lines the left side of the fairway. A 200 plus yard second shot into the green is guarded by a bunker in front of the green, forcing hitters to either fly the bunker or run it up to the left of the green. Par is a great score on the par 4 12th. The length continues with the 442 yard par 4 13th. A tight tee shot with the pines beginning to intrude on the right near the landing area. Golfers will need a long iron or a fairway metal. With a second shot into this big green, there's a bunker in the back, but it does allow golfers an opportunity to run the ball up. 452 yard par 4 the 14th very distressing vision for golfers as they see sand traps as well as trees lining both sides of the fairway. Another large bunker after that initial shot forces golfers to carry with a long iron or fairway metal. Par would be a great score here on the par 414. A strategic par 5, 550 yards, a wide and inviting fairway allows golfers the opportunity to get their ball out in play, but that is where the decision-making begins. The longer hitters may think of going directly for the pin. It'll be a blind shot down the hill. The trees on the left are the aim point, but the green is down below a ridge, and there is danger to the left as well as behind the green. The prudent play is to play it to the right of those trees and give yourself a downhill wedge shot into the green. Beautiful aesthetics off the tee. On the par 4 16th, nearly 400 yards from the back tees. The water does creep in on the right, and those golfers that tend to fade or slice the ball may find themselves in trouble. After being safely aboard on the fairway, Golfers will need to carry the quarry in front of the green, rocks protecting the front of the green as well, and bunkers protecting in the back. The par 317, the long hole, 200 plus yards from the back tees, and a little bit uphill with a bunker protecting in front. Another challenging par three here at Mid-South as golfers make their way in. Perhaps the signature hole here at Mid-South Golf Club, the par 418, 435 yards. A wide fairway does allow golfers to put the ball in play with relative ease. However, it's the second shot where the money is made. For the risk-taking or adventurous golfer, a long iron or fairway metal 
invites the golfer on a second shot that needs to clear water as well as stop the ball on a green that runs from front to back. Shorter hitters may elect to lay up to about 160 yards, then yield a mid-iron into the green on the closing hole. A wonderful challenge to end the round at the Arnold Palmer-designed Mid-South Club.